So my name is Emilio and I work in the IT industry. And if you're watching this, you've potentially got an interview coming up or you are just wanting to prepare or get ready for passing an interview for a systems admin or systems engineer. We're gonna go through some stuff that I would recommend you to know, how to answer questions, how to be confident in your interview and pass it. So depending on the organization that you're gonna be working, um, could be a small, medium or large, uh, certain questions may be more directed at certain areas depending on the company, depending on the industry that you're working on, depending, depending on your responsibility. Um, some small organizations may expect you to do a lot more. A larger organization may have you um, specialized in just the level two space. You're not responsible for doing any level one tasks, for example. So it really depends on the organization. So you really want to structure your, your I guess, your ammunition that you're going to be using in the interview, depending on that role. So really try to cater your answers or examples that you have for the position description or the job description for the company that you are going for interviewing in. So questions likely are gonna be catered uh, within a behavioral and a technical space. Um, obviously you're going for a technical role. You're gonna to want to know whether you are technical enough uh, or have the skills to be able to do your job. A systems admin or a systems engineer is somebody who is now uh, done level one, they're very good at level one, they've done level two, they're very good at level two, but now they're focused more on the backend infrastructure. The systems admin, systems engineer role is very vast um, and it can deal with many, many areas, dealing more with server side active directory, dealing with DNS, dealing with DHCP, dealing with group policies, uh, file server support, uh, mail server support, exchange servers, the cloud, you know, you've got technologies such as AWS, um, Amazon's AWS, Microsoft uh, Azure, Azure um, and Google Cloud as well. Um, they may be involved with storage, um, SAN, NAS, those sort of things. So that's generally where a level three person uh, falls into. Having a good broad spread across all of these technologies will definitely help you in your interview. A lot of uh, companies, I know whenever I'm interviewing, I like to do a combination of what's called behavioral questions and technical questions. Technical questions are your standard, what is this, what is this, what is this, what is this? Um, a behavioral is sort of answering those technical questions in a behavioral sense. So an example of a technical question would be, what is Active Directory? A behavioral question in that space is, can you give me an example when you had to diagnose an issue within Active Directory's OU structure, right? So that's a bit more of a dedicated, pointed question, but also gives me a bit more of an overview of how somebody dealt uh, with that, their troubleshooting steps to deal with that particular issue in Active Directory. So be prepared for questions that are both behavioral and technical and combinations of the two. It's good to have some practical uh, understanding or, or troubleshooting um, examples uh, that you can share with somebody that you are going for an interview with. When I'm interviewing anybody, regardless of what role they are in, in an organization or what role they're going for, is somebody who is passionate about technology. At the end of the day, um, technology is changing so quick so I'm always looking for somebody who is excited about that, excited about change, uh, excited about keeping up to date with what is cool, what is hip in the technology space, what new hardware has been released, what new software has been released, what new security hacks have happened around the world. Somebody who's excited about technology. Um, I, 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 ideally, I want somebody who goes home and just loves IT, watches things about IT, watches blogs, reads, uh, stuff online about what's happening in the IT industry. Almost every organization nowadays has some form of virtualization. So think about technology such as VMware, the Hyper-V, uh, you've got Citrix. I would almost expect any systems admin, systems engineer to understand virtualization, to at least have worked with virtualization. Talk to me about the cloud, talk to me about the pros and cons. The, the key to me is communication. Um, if I'm interviewing somebody and, and they don't know the answer to something, uh, don't make it up. Don't act like you know what you're, you know, if you know that technology uh, or say that you have worked on a technology when you haven't. Be honest, um, but then show that you're enthusiastic about learning about that technology or that you've learned, um, you know, you've worked with 
colleagues that have worked on that and you've really wanted to get into that. Um, really communication is the key. So being honest um, and sort of understanding that IT is a very, very large environment, very large spread of uh, technologies. You're not going to be expected to know everything. Um, so just be honest, uh, be able to explain as best as you can what you do know, have good examples, um, communication, as I said, being able to how to communicate amongst people in your team. You're probably going to be working with a team or by yourself working with end users. You want to be able to communicate. How do you manage your workload? How do you manage your tickets? Have you worked with ticketing systems? Um, all those sort of things. So that's really a summary. Um, there's a whole lot more that we can talk about, but hopefully that has helped you and hopefully that helps you to land your dream job. But that is it for now. I would love it if you like this video as well as subscribe to my channel and uh, click on my little alert there on my, on my notifications so that you are notified uh, when I'm releasing new videos as well. But that's all for now and uh, we'll see you next time.